Uh, here's a sand rail I built for my dad to, for his cabin out at Stewart Island, lovely San Juan Islands. You can see. Uh, I didn't even know what a sand rail was till he started looking at the Chinese uh, buggies. And uh, we're pretty remote out here. Uh, it's hard to get parts, and everything has to be brought in. There's no real ferry service. You can barge. We had this barge to over. I had to bring all the parts and gas ourselves. So I, I went to Buggy Innovations and got their design and then did some changes. I made it a two-seater, and of course I'm going to hear a lot of complaints on using the rectangle tubing, but just not as much notching is required. It's uh, easier for me to bend. You can see these front front supports here. Um, they got a slight curve in them. The roll bar has a curve, and, and I've done this X, X um up here, it makes it a lot easier to get in. Uh, some of the designs, it's really hard to get in. My dad's uh, in his uh, mid 70s, so wanted to make it easy. We used a Raptor 700R motor because it had reverse and uh, got a really trick Speedo tack right here, right on the wheel. This is made in the US. Uh, by vapor, it gives you engine temp, the RPM, speed, uh, just everything. And uh, you can get the extension cables and uh, from them in like three days for us because they're here in Washington State. So here's the uh, hill holder brake, that little knob there. There's your start button and the headlight switch. And here's the key, key on. Got uh, safety harness seats. Got the radiator overflow, radiator, you can see up top here, I got a little little bar, I oh, got a lot, of, a lot of trees, lots of trees and branches, lots of branches um, go through, you can see the fox, uh, fox racing shocks, so we've got quite a bit of travel on this thing, it's uh, just amazing really go fast over the bumps. There's a limiting straps you want so you don't bottom out the shocks and also dump the balls out of the uh, CV joints. So, pretty fun project, but I'm more of a boat guy. So you can see, start it up for you. Got a fire extinguisher up here because I assume the fire is going to be back in the back end with the gas tank and the motor. This thing spins close to 10,000 RPM. I've had it up to uh, 63 with uh, my little cousin. She wanted to see how fast they go. We had one more gear, but we just ran out of road. You can see I put uh, I put the Raptor, the actual Raptor uh, brakes on the front. The Innovations didn't call out for uh, for brakes, and uh, with this setup, um, it, it's pretty a little heavier. You know, my dad's just not going to be picking up a lot of speed out here on the island. We have an airstrip. That's about the only place they could really get into the top gear. Uh, most of the roads, he doesn't even get into second gear. And uh, I did a speed run today, and about 23 is as fast as I go on the majority of his roads. They're just so windy, and it's pretty wide. Well, thank you for watching our little buggy. First time I've built something like that. You can see the strange thing in the back, but you can figure out how the metal has to be be that way, and, or unless you want to twist it, but it makes an interesting, interesting rear end. Fast, fast, fast.